Well, students in one Colorado school district will soon no longer work from home. Summit County School District said it is not going back to online learning and more may follow. Mountain Newsroom reporter Spencer Wilson joins us live in Frisco tonight. Spencer, they still have some hybrid classes, but this is about the kind of online learning that we've witnessed much of this pandemic. Karen, there's going to be a couple of students who are either traveling or have busy sports schedules that will still do a few online classes. But for the majority of this, those large online Zoom classrooms we've been seeing the last two years, now a thing of the past for now. It's no secret online learning has made things really tough for teachers. It's difficult. I mean, I guess that would be the easiest answer to your question. They, of course, want to be in person with these kids, right? There are teachers that, you know, really stretch that muscle and we're able to do it. Um, all of our teachers ended up doing it at some point, right? Um, but do they prefer to be in person? Do we know that, um, you know, that social emotional learning is so important in person? Um, absolutely. As COVID cases receded, the board made the choice to move away from online learning and maybe not for the reason than you'd expect. It was one of the most noticeable changes during the pandemic, speaking with people through video calls. But the Summit School Board says their decision to completely get rid of online learning actually came down to the budget more than anything else. We need to start making some unfortunately difficult decisions about what we continue to fund, um, where we focus our efforts and our, and our time and talents, um, and what's best for kids. Federal funding to help support that online system has dried up, and it costs the district hundreds of thousands of dollars to keep running. So as long as things stay safe for kids to return to the classroom, the district plans to save money and save staff the headache of trying to teach their lessons over video calls. But they're not counting out the unpredictability of the pandemic. We are ready to turn on a dime, to, you know, to a certain extent that, you know, we certainly hope that this is behind us. But if there are chapters where there's a surge in cases in the community, you know, we can we can look at, you know, what, what kind of supports that we would provide. The board said that if families are still looking for that fully online style of learning, there are other districts within Colorado that they can enroll in and therefore go from that point there. Live in Frisco, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first.